the third of the United Kingdom in company of his wife, Her Majesty Queen Camilla, began their four-day official visit in the country with a visit to the State House Nairobi where they were received by President William Ruto. Now, King Charles was honored by a 21-gun salute before he proceeded to inspect a guard of honor mounted by Kenya's defense forces. The king, who has a busy schedule in the four-day of his visit, today toured the Uhuru Gardens before meeting youths actively engaged in climate change talks. A reporter Henry Tender was on the trail of his first day in the country and files the following reports. Early Tuesday morning, His Majesty King Charles III in company of his wife, Her Majesty Queen Camilla, were given a special reception at State House Nairobi by Kenyan President William Ruto. <laughs> King Charles and Queen Camilla, who arrived in the country on Monday night, received 21 gun salute in their honor from the military of Kenya. King Charles then proceeded to inspect the guard of honor mounted by the Kenya Defense Forces. After their reception at the house, King Charles itinerary and that of President William Ruto left for Uhuru Gardens, which marked his first stopover of his visit. Uhuru Gardens carries Kenya's history pre- and post-independence, a reason why His Majesty made it his first stopover. Britain remaining a major player in Kenya's struggle for independence. King Charles laying a wreath of flowers on a tomb of one of unnamed freedom fighters. Britain remaining steadfast in matters environment conservation. The next stop for King Charles and Queen Camilla was in Nairobi with a group of youth championing climate change efforts. Tomorrow on the second day of his visit, King Charles will visit UN headquarters before meeting top government officials, religious leaders and a contingent of British armies training in Kenya. King Charles will also trace and celebrate the work of the late Nobel Peace Laureate winner, Wangari Mathai. King Charles will visit Nairobi National Park before holding high-level business engagement with the government of Kenya. Far from Nairobi, King Charles is scheduled to visit Mombasa City, where he will meet a combined force of British and Kenyan military forces. King Charles' visit to Kenya is the first of its kind in Africa since his coronation as the United Kingdom King on 5th of May this year. Henry Tendai Muller, Look Up TV.